when thought of the chief public prosecutor Merrick Garland until 2016. Remembers that feels disappointed, but was determined to progress. I was more disappointed to not have a chance. But you know, my favorite poet says, you must shake it, and life continues. Now, Chief Public Prosecutor leads Ministry of Justice at an unprecedented time in history of former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden's prosecution. There is also a lawyer investigation. All of these are taking place in a heated presidential election primary campaign. The chief public prosecutor told 60 Minutes. The Ministry of Justice prosecutors are not partisan. He said, in a rare interview, chief public prosecutor Scott Pelley spoke about a wide range of issues. From helping Ukrainian certified war crimes to use of deadly drug fentanyl. Investigating Russian war crimes in Ukraine the Ministry of Justice is working closely with Ukrainian prosecutors to gather, store and analyze the evidence of war crimes in Ukraine. Chief Public Prosecutor Merrick Garland said that he saw this as a tradition international cooperation in episode. Former Chief Public Prosecutor Robert Jackson became U.S. Prosecutor in Nuremberg hearings and this was U.S. Prosecutor, too, after World War II. He led to conviction of hundreds Nazis. Attorney General, some of our obligation to protect the rule of law is to work internationally with our partners. Chief Public Prosecutor Garland said that the Ministry of Justice could Ukrainians. It can help prevent people to keep these people responsible. And can prevent things again. Opioids and fentanyl Scott Pelley and his 60-minute team. Dojin who brought together families who lived loss of a loved one due to drug poisoning fentanyl. Family Summit. Chief Public Prosecutor Garland was together with Garland. He also spoke to a few families at event. Listened and comforted his stories. 60 Minutes of Correspondent Scott Pelley asked why the chief public prosecutor did this. The chief public prosecutor said that some difficulty in handling the scourge of fentanyl is low. Cost producing it. This is managed by people who do not care for human life and sees a tremendous profit incentive. The ability to sell on the streets is much higher. The chief public prosecutor pointed out a few indictments arrests made by the Ministry of Justice from the fentanyl producers and fugitives in China Mexico. AGRAND was given an example the USA was known Sinaloa cartel Joaquin Guzman Loera. Known El Chapo to confront drug trafficking while other crimes. He returned Ovidio Guzman Lopez one of the former leaders of former leader. And well bring more. The videos above were produced by Will Croxton, Britt McCandless Farmer and Sarah Schaefer Predig.